Okay, um, welcome back to another modded Minecraft, uh, mine, uh, modern Skyblock 2. Um, I forgot to hit record and I got distracted and I got it working. As you can see the lamp is actually not turning on or off. These are actually up and eating the coal, so this is the 9x9 setup. This coal actually, this one reaches to here and this one to there, I'd need to fill those two over there but yeah currently this is the only one but generally I put like one uh, which way was it? I think it was in the, uh, no because this yeah I think it was on the edges but I ended up, I've, t I've done a few different designs but anyway this is the design that this one has come out because um, if you lay it down here or if you kept this in here it would turn the lamp on and off with this even if it was in a straight line so yeah the redstone signal got there but now it actually isn't being transmitted it is working correctly so I need to make more of these to actually get my mana pool sped up a lot so that is working um, I just wanted to show you that so I will make a full episode now um, I wasn't going to do another episode, I was actually going to go to bed because it's 2 in the morning and it's a Monday night, but I don't have to work till Tuesday, so take a break for a drink to give that pause where you go, so what, what what's happening? Okay, so I need to make a couple pieces of dirt, let's see if there's an easy way to do it instead of having to blow stuff up or convert stuff um, looks like it is the only way of that way and I don't think I have any more dirt just lying around actually I do 45 of it damn I hide dirt very well um, so there that is now full that is, oh, I didn't want that. You can actually have your coal back. So, it's working on a bigger system as you would say. Oh, oh, really? I just put my axe away. Or pickaxe. Um, I actually need more redstone because I actually need to do the off switch on the comparator. So, which is generally easy. So, if you place it the right way, but you can just do this, then you wrap it around. Do not come down here, It'll inf it will actually affect the daisy, but that is not a problem. So, and it should reach all the way up in here with a power of 15. If it's not, we will have to change it. So let's see, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is where we need a repeater. So we need to put a repeater here to send the signal on. So that's a bummer, but that's okay, that's fine. Um, I'm just wondering if I plug it into here, oops. If I go this way, does that actually... Well, if I break this off anyway... No, because that still would need to be there. Because that should be 15. No, because this light... Uh, I'll just go around this way. I don't want to play with it. So we'll break it here. And we'll quickly just make a repeater. If I got any quartz. If not, pfft, always out of quartz. So don't need quartz. I just need two of these. And I'm actually out of redstone. So, I need to make some more redstone. So, now when that hits to 15, this will flick on and it will disable the system. And this, when 15 is when this is full. So, can we make the rest? Probably not. 
we made quite a bit but we actually need to make some more endo flames so let's make some more endo flames so two brown a red and a light gray uh, two browns a red and a light gray so and I need to make nine of these bad boys, uh, not nine, I need to finish off this set here. So we got five here, so we need another four. So we will need four of you, four of you, and eight of you. We will need a bucket for the water. We will need a hand for the seed which I probably got rid of all the oh, some rice seeds, oh there's actually quite a few other seeds here I'm wondering if no, I will probably have to use a standard minecraft seed which I have none so back here to the drawing board to get some bone meal B-O-N it did not B-O-N quickly get some seed for the big bad boy just need a couple which we have got so and we'll throw this away so we need to go you you and you and then we go you and then we go one two one and one and one now what you do here is you hold with your open hand bucket and then right click and then seed I know I don't have my hotbar set up correctly, but that doesn't matter. Oops. And there is the four endo flames. And this will actually cap out the speed what this actually can get. Nope. Uh, not quite. But once these are all burning, it should. Which some aren't actually burning just as yet. So they haven't recognised it to pick it up. They will. It's really weird how they place it though. It, it places it, uh, instead of in the middle, it places it like on the edge or a random spot in it. It's pretty cool. But this will actually be a hell of a lot quicker in producing manner. So I need to move my daisy now. Hopefully get the yep. And I will put the chisel back down. And then we can just move it to um Yeah we can move it actually to here. Right in the center. This will not have any effect of anything around it. Nope, so we are good with it there. So now I can upgrade this area of having lots of endo flames all through it, and I will probably end up putting these. Oh, that's right, I used to put them in the center of the block eventually, didn't I? In the center of the block. But the only problem is, is this one here, when it's on here, it doesn't actually see the mana pool correctly if that's there so I'll probably um, put some uh, the lens which allows it to shoot through other stuff or I could just actually put it here so two here then two there and it wouldn't really matter and then if you want more you could just actually build another set of stuff on top of it and keep going up and you just drop them because they will pick it up six six squares up as well or something like that but this now is going to be smashing along so there we go and we have 13 left of these to get let's see if it will do nope not quite oh wait no it did the 13 so there we go we are actually have one left over so we actually need another 8 because we can't throw a separate block in there it needs to be double block so this will actually start it up not quite enough yet so this will start it up we'll throw everything in as quick as possible and then get out but I'm, I'm assuming or I'm 
the way that I remember um, the uh, Vasky, she changed it to work on the way it works. So it gets divided, the portal seems to be able to send items through, but mana is required for a successful transaction. Similar to opening it, the cost is split between the pools. Furthermore, the link isn't strong enough to allow living beings to go through it, so forget jumping into Alfheim. Aww. The amount of information about Alfheim is stored in the lexicon are limited. Yes, yeah, so we'll throw that as well. Perhaps letting the elves have a look at it might prove beneficial. Maybe they uh, can share knowledge. So we throw this in, we open it, we, sh we throw it, sh throw this in, and then we throw everything else through. So... Oh, so close. It's probably another way to actually make a hell of a lot faster mana, which it already has told us. Uh, it was the TNT, but I don't want to do TNT. TNT is bad, especially on a sky block. So, um, these ones haven't quite got. I know it takes turns in eating them, so eventually these three will get one. And it seems to be only six are running at the moment. Interesting. The problem is you can't actually see if they are running or not unless you unlink them. And these ones are quite taking their time. So unless it's an animation glitch, yeah, the other way to actually speed this point up is you break it here and then you put a repeater down and then you extend the repeating option. So I think this is around the wrong way, but eh, we'll work out when it gets there. And then that actually allows you to drop more coal down for more to eat, which I may do that. So, let's see. So I think this is the delay option. Yeah, see, now they're all working. See, that allowed it to drop one extra. So, to you, one extra may be like, pfft, but to this system, which this is going to eat one, or all of them, I don't know, because that one looks like it's out as well. So, it looks like it just started. I usually just let it run. So unless they are eating everything. So as you can see this one started, this one started, so these two will eat next. And I think there's a cooldown on them as well. So that could be it. So yet yeah, see they're starting to eat now. So all good, all good, all good. So now we can do the last block. This will give us nine, so this will give us... Don't look at the chest while doing that. We actually need all them. So this will give us quite a few mana pearls. This will give us quite a few mana steel. I know we'll need a lot more of that. And it will only give us four mana diamonds, which is all I need at the moment. So it is up and running. So we can throw the book, throw that, and throw that. Now it will all come back. And done. And now we are in the better version. Now we have to break the core, which, yeah. I don't know if this requires it to continuously to be up. But 
we will we will see. Now we can actually make the better sparks. So we can actually upgrade the sparks to this to share the mana around to the other pools. Probably won't be enough to keep it open. So, but I will break it because I don't really. Oh my god, that's gonna take forever. There we go. So we don't actually need it open anymore because we don't need anything to come through. Um, so we are fine for a little while, and as you can see, we only got 36. So we could upgrade our armor. This armor to see 10% land of mana cost on mana tools and rods where if we actually have a look on the other set it is 20% less you have regen even if hunger isn't topped off passive ma regeneration tools which is brilliant so the regeneration of mana it actually is 3 armor 3 armor toughness where this one is nothing so the Oh no, sorry, that's the Terra Steel upgrade. Whoops, I was looking at the wrong one. Well, that sucks. Um, I was hoping it would evolve into the pink one. But, I guess I am wrong. Let's find the pink armor. One back. This one does chance of pixies to apply potion effects. So, this is useless for making armor. It was the Terra Steel that we needed, but we need to make the... Basically, I need to make this the Recessive, and this the Dominance, and these two the Dominance. Um, but the problem is, is, I don't know how to do the 9x9, nine nine, or 3x3, three three, sorry, Mana Pool, because I want that this one to top all of them up. Um, and I think you need to have this the Recessive... Actually, I've got the book here, so it, sh it should tell me. So we go through here. Thank you for finding us. We love you, and goodbye. All right, so now we go into here, and we go spark. And this will spark augmentation. Oh, there's a spark tinkerer. And then basic corporea. So we'll look at this one, and we'll go through, and it should say the dominant spark will have the spark will have the spark pull any mana from nearby pools. Non-organic spark mm -hmm. pulls into its own until it's completely full. Uh, the resources will have the spark output all of its mana into in its pool into other nearby non-augmented or dis, uh, dis, uh, dispersive sparks. So we need that one actually on here so it will keep pumping out to the other ones over there. Lastly, the isolated spark will prevent the spark from interacting with any dominant or receptive sparks, which we don't want. We missed one. Okay, there must be only three sparks. I thought there was four. There's a dispersive, dominant, recessive, and isolated. I must have missed one. Uh, starting off, oh, the Disperses Relevant has a spark, uses up the mana in the pool below to charge any nearby player's mana. Oh, that will be handy, especially on the main one. And then the Dominant, Recessive, and Isolated. Uh, isolated will prevent the spark from interacting with any Dominant or Recessive sparks, but still will interact with non-blocks that can receive their mana through the spark network. So basically we want the recessive and the dominance one. The recessive will have the spark output all the mana into well, all of the mana in its pool into any nearby augmented or dispersive sparks. So we want basically this one, a set of pools here with just the um and then recessive and this one just having pools. So that will keep pushing out to the network to fill up everything and that should be good. Because we want the 9x9, nine nine, uh, we want the a 3x3 three three here to feed to that. Um, yeah. But the problem is, is, will the sparks actually feed that to that? Which it should. So. And that, let that fill up. But we'll need to fill up all that with the better stuff. Which, I think it's eaten all the charcoal. Yes, it has. Because... That choose charcoal. Ok, 
Okay, we'll grab this. Okay, and uh, problem is, is this should be coming in and straight in like that, but I've got it too close, so it won't. But this will actually feed my um, iron addiction. No, not iron addiction, but quartz inf infused. So. Oh, excuse me. So we actually have some decent amount now. Oh, miss. And put that away. That and that. And we, yeah. So basically, at the moment, we need to worry about the. grab as much as this and then we will burn all this as I said this will uh, um, clogs up the machine for a while for all the charcoal but it really we really do need it for the mana but once we have the rest of the refined system up and running we won't have to worry about cooking stuff up in here because it will be sent off down, cooked up and come back. So for now we'll just do it this way. Um, the next episode will be to finish off the refined storage system. I will probably do a little bit of starting the B network because I need to get some alvaries up, I need to get a farmer up to actually get my farm going. I know that I can use that as a farm but I don't know, I know, uh, what is it, you can do it as a manual farm, but I'm not 100% sure how to do it because I've never done a manual farm, so planting the manual, I don't know if you need to plant the manual, do it all yourself, or yeah, set it up that way, so, um, what is it called, tubes, so through here, it says here, manual farm so you can do for flowers 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 all oh, flowers I don't know why manual farm more flowers okay so it might be these ones here so orchard which is trees peat crop farms now does that mean wheat as well vegetable farm and there's a temp boost, a succulent farm. I don't even know what that is. So it could be veggies. So I may have to actually play around with that in my test world and work out how or where to do it. Because I've never done manual farms on that because usually back in the day you never used to have all this, you know, manual stuff. It used to come with its own little, yeah, setup. So... I guess we'll find out when I try it. Um, I need to put that into there, but not just as yet. So how full is that? See, it's it's blue. It's 2.2, so it's only halfway done. That's good. Uh, let's see. This has probably ran out by now. Yeah, it has. How much did we end up with? We ended up with another, actually, quite a bit. So I'll leave that because we actually have a lot of um, iron now. So, but this is my last episode for tonight. I will be doing um, one probably tomorrow night, but not Tuesday. But I'll probably be coming home Tuesday uh, with my son for a few days uh, as it's the school holidays and he wants to see his grandparents. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see if he will play a few games but I will have a backlog for you to watch so it will be good you are actually quite far behind I think you only just got episode 20 and this is episode 80 something it, it is actually quite ridiculous so as I said I play a lot of it and I'm actually recording this time so you get to see the fun as well so let's see See, this is... you're just getting so much, it is ridiculous. And up the end 
here a little bit. So now we've got another 31 here. So we're 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 f we're f just flush in iron resources, and we're getting gold from it as well. So and they're the two main ones that get used. There is some copper and bronze and invar that used every now and then, but a lot of it isn't. It is all or mainly iron. So yeah. Um, the one thing that I needed to make was another crafter. So. And I want to get these automatically making. So, which I need more diamonds. That was the other thing. Well, don't go down. <laughs> Nine diamonds, so we can make them. So I should be able to set this. Actually, that's what the other thing. What I needed was I actually needed to do this into uh, silicon. So. I will actually replace you and you can clean that up and I will place all of you into here so the only thing I want is into here because you need to be removed more quartz so we actually have a heap of quartz now so I should be able to do a heap of more work so the mana pool has come along nicely so I can fill that up a little bit better. So drained half of it so my thing looks a lot better. I will feed myself. And use the Nelly there. Um, okay, so I actually want to make more patterns, didn't I? That's what was stopping me to start off with. So let's go for 10. Missing that. Okay. Typical redstone. And. Okay. See, that used all of that. So we have got quite a bit left of everything. Aluminium, silver, tin, copper, some gold, lead. So if I get this all automated and running, we are going to have a party. So um, I want to put this in here, didn't I? And I wanted to make ten patterns. This should be enough to actually put. Oops get us started with all the patterns so good it should now I think the process nope. uh, let's get all these worked out so to get this you need or oh, actually we have some then so we don't have that one automated we have that one and that's it so we need this one which is a piece of gold which is actually processing, isn't it? So, can I do... Yes, cool, it works. And then the diamond. So that's there. Um, then I need to do the basic processor. Then the improve... Oh, uh, why did they jump down there? So there's the improved, there's the diamond. Interesting that one. Holding shift on it does it. Uh, printed silicon. I don't know if this one's been, but it will. This is a crafting recipe. So these will probably not fit in one crafter but it will at least start it off so now the silicon will be here not quite finished off yet so okay so what have we got in here so we can remove actually this one 
this one, this one, and we will do this, this, uh, actually, yeah. I like to keep them in their order, so uh, this, and we'll do these. So that will actually fit all in there perfectly. So this should give us the ability to make a crafter. I don't know if I can do it this way. No, can't just go straight out. So we need one of them. And then we need... They're all different names, so... Mm, I wonder if I can do this. Okay, I can. Cool, cool. So... Let's go for two of them. Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot to turn the ore dictionary on for all these. Because oh, they all use the old one, so all these need to be changed. So, back to the pattern. So, let's, oops, at refined. Okay, so we need to do, not use, uh, not use, uh, which one was it? There. This one. And that's actually posting and audict. So, yeah, this one. This one. That one. So that actually may fix it. The others shouldn't have that issue. So if we do that, then that, then this, 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 and then this. So that should work. Let's have a look at ref. And then we go, let's craft it to them. Bam, started. Uh, what's that? That's the basic processor. Then we need one of them. One of them. And let's go with two of them. So let's see if this... Oh, this right, it doesn't actually pull out automatically. You need to actually put an uh, import bus or export bus in the back. So I'll just dump that in there and do this manually while these load up. Uh, it's actually wrapping up point in time and I'm halfway through doing this. So we'll let it run for a little bit longer. And I think it's waiting for the silicon. I will make a auto crafter next. And I don't know what it's doing. So that mm, I don't have a crafting monitor, so I don't know what it's doing. It's actually stopped. So hopefully it's just gone. I can't do that yet, Dave. So let's see. So what do we need? We need a construction core. So a construction core. So start one of them. How hard is it to make a importer? Quite. I think I'll, I think I might stop the process and make a importer. Dim is happy. So let's see. Let's make a construction core and a advanced processor. That one. I think you can hold a button down and all that automatically creates it or just instantly starts it. I know that was in AE, but I don't know about this one. And there is our core. Uh, I'm going blind. And there is our importer, and we need a cable to go with it. So, like 
like that and we'll do it like that so now that should automatically create everything we need for a crafter so we are so let's see what I need I need a construction core so one of these And there is our core. We need two advanced processors. Pop goes the weasel. Now this is taking, there's one, and the second one should pop up in a tick. The last one we need to do is a deconstruction core. So, I thought you couldn't start a second one, but I could be wrong. So we wait. And then we get that part, and then we get another crafter, and then I can dump the rest of these recipes in, and then we can actually move forward a little bit faster, because more of them we have, the better. Uh, that just popped up and then disappeared, so... Where did it go? I don't know where it went, but it went and then it vanished. Mm, let's make another one then. Ah. And we need to make them a crafting monitor. doesn't seem too bad actually interesting where are my cores going should have grabbed more cabling but that's okay um, that will do so we'll chuck all them back in there and I'll go get the other ones that I started probably I uh, won't need them just as yet I will push actually towards hmm okay let's make a crafting monitor so we need the machine frame. So one of them, and then we'll need two of these. Now, I can't remember if it gives you the button in here or you need to right click on it itself. So. doesn't look like it's processing the rest of it. So I need two improved processors. See it's just made them then stopped. Maybe there's a recipe conflict somewhere. Because I made two of them and it didn't actually come out, so well, there's one. It is using one bench for us, uh, one solder, so the other one should be showing up now. There it is. 
and there is our crafting monitor so aha see it is it is trying to craft all of them so we will cancel all aha see so something was wrong because I think it was trying to craft some old stuff which I don't know if it is or not but it is all clear now nice okay so that's it uh, that is done for this episode a little bit longer but that is a fine by me and hopefully by you guys so I will see you in the next episode so have fun and laters